Yes. Yes. We got it. Invoke. 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 Inv the friend. Hello. At my heaviest weight of 275 pounds, I knew I needed to lose weight because I was getting massive health problems like sleep apnea, plantar fasciitis so bad I could barely walk. But I had struggled with weight my whole life and everything I did wasn't sustainable. It didn't work. I tried fad diets, taking away food groups, nothing worked. I really didn't know where to start, but I knew I needed to do something that I could stick to. So I decided there's only one way to lose weight. You have to be in a calorie deficit, which means you have to eat less. I decided to make small changes or do small things so that I could get in a calorie deficit without even trying. So in this video, I'm going to share with you five ways that I got in a calorie deficit without even trying and I was able to lose 130 pounds and keep it off for six years. And me and Nicola both lost 130 pounds and kept it off for a long time. And doing these things makes it a little easier to keep the weight off because me and Nicole naturally are heavier. Yes. So these things, you're doing something, but it doesn't feel like it. It's easy to do these. The first one, up your neat calories. Neat calories are those calories that you burn outside of exercise. So for example, park farther away at the grocery store or at your job and walk to the building. This is so, one thing I actually did naturally when me and Nicole first started dating and I swear she would curse me every time I did it. <laughs> oh, because I had plantar fasciitis so bad. At that point, it was so hard to walk from far in the parking lot, but it was worth it because it burned calories without even trying. And for Nicole, like getting the weight off fixed her plantar fasciitis. That was like the biggest problem. Exactly. So I had to push through even though it was a bit uncomfortable, but taking the stairs instead of the elevator, standing over sitting or sit and stand a few times, do a few laps around your counter, go the long way. Anything that helps you burn more activities, do chores. That will help you burn calories without even trying, without even realizing it. Even like when we were not in the greatest shape at the beginning, getting up during commercial breaks, get off the couch at least for you know a couple minutes. It, take a bathroom break, get up off the couch, go up the stairs, take a bathroom break, go back, that'll burn more calories. Yeah, these and calories add up, guys. Like if, even if it's 20, 30, 50 calories extra through NEAT a day, times that by 365, it's a lot of calories. Go out and do your chores. That will actually burn NEAT calories. The next one, this is something that is so simple but nobody does enough of, and that is get enough sleep. If you don't get enough sleep, this is what happens to us, and I'm pretty sure it happens to everyone. You don't have energy, so you're not gonna burn as many neat calories. You're not gonna even wanna do any exercise or anything. You're not gonna wanna prep your food or even eat your meals. You're gonna be tired. And then when you're tired, you're more likely to overeat or to give in to your cravings or to eat things that you didn't intend on eating. Getting sleep will help you have energy so that you can go through the day and make proper decisions. When you're sleepy, you don't make the greatest decisions. And also like it affects your neat calories. Like if you didn't sleep well, you're obviously not going to feel like dancing around, um, doing your chores, getting up yeah. off the couch. You're not, you're gonna park really close to the door. You're not gonna take the stairs, you're gonna take the elevator. So getting sleep also helps with the neat calories and then you're burning calories without even realizing it. And just being physically up for longer, like if you didn't sleep, chances are you're gonna eat more. I know me and Nicole, when we had that problem, like yeah. you're just up for you know three, four hours more, obviously you're gonna eat more. Even now, if I wake up early and I don't get enough sleep, I'm hungrier. So try to get the best sleep that you can. And do what it, do what it takes to get that sleep. Like it's worth it to get the sleep. So if you have to de-stress, meditation, other substances that are legal in Canada <laughs> that me and Nicole have tried recently. That actually help with sleep. White noise. We have a fan in our room to block out any noise so that it helps us sleep better. Next, 
Stop drinking liquid calories. This is something that I did that when I stopped it, I got in a deficit, a major one without even realizing. The beginning of the journey, I drank seven cans of regular full sugar pop every day. The one I was drinking, Dr. Pepper, is like 140 calories a can. So instead of getting rid of the pop, I just switched it to diet. In doing that, I went in about a thousand calorie deficit without even trying. I, I drank Diet Dr. Pepper, it pretty much tastes the same thing. So I didn't even notice the lack of calories. And wow, a thousand calories is a massive deficit. And I didn't even do anything except switch to diet. So a lot of people will add things to their coffee or, um, you know, they'll drink a pop or a juice without realizing there's so many calories in it. If you switch to a lower calorie version of your favorite thing, switch to non-dairy milk instead of cream in your coffee if you can't drink it black. That will lower the calories because those liquid calories add up and people don't realize how many calories they're consuming in liquid. So not drinking your calories will save you massive amounts. All right, we're on. Next, choose the lower calorie option of your favorite foods. I loved bacon. I loved peanut butter. Those things though, the calories add up. So I switched to low calorie versions of those. I switched to chicken or turkey bacon. I switched to powdered peanut butter. I still have the real things every once in a while, but choosing the low calorie version will save you a ton of calories. 90 calories in one tablespoon of peanut butter or two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter for 60. That you get way more for way less. So if you choose the lower calorie option most of the day, you will automatically be saving calories and most of the options we have now that are lower calorie taste very, very good, like eight out of 10 to the real thing. So you'll be saving yourself a ton of calories without even noticing. And the last one, use bowls and plates. Kyle and I used to eat a bag of chips each every night for a snack. Those add up. When you eat from a bag or from a tub, a container, you don't realize how much you're eating because you go on autopilot and the calories build and build up. And as humans, we go till the bag's empty. Or like yeah. with a bag of cookies, when we used to just grab and grab, you know that box of bag of cookies is gone when we open wow. it up. So. Me and Nicole switched to portioning it out. Instead, in the beginning, we weren't ready to have a serving, which is like 30 chips or something. We decided to have a bowl, you know, a fairly decent sized bowl about that big. And then we split the bag pretty much. So instead of a full bag every night, we were having a large bowl, which was about half a bag. That was saving us massive amounts of calories. And eventually we were able to go to a smaller bowl. So Start with just using bowls and plates. You'll automatically eat less, save calories, while still eating what you love. You don't have to give it up. We thought we had to give everything up. Eating just a little less every day or doing these small things that we said, you're gonna get in a calorie deficit without even realizing and you're gonna drop weight really quickly. Kyle and I had so much weight to lose, we lost 50 pounds in three months by making little changes like that. So if you want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we have two weight loss guides. Links are down below. Exact meal plans, exact portions, family friendly recipes. It's all in there. Check it out or watch these two videos for free and find out how to love your food and lose weight at the same time. <laughs> Long more now. And sh this is a beam for you too. We're gonna shake it because it's <laughs> PG for you to shake it out. We love you. Thanks for watching. Peace. Goodbye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.